Today we are going to look at the issue called Growing Carrots and it's from April 2018. So you go here to All Issues and you go to April and you go back to April 2018. So Growing Carrots. And this is what the issue looks like. Let's find out Growing Carrots. So we're going to be talking about growing things and the parts of plants further today. And let's go to the video first. So let's watch this video. And we'll make this room big. What do plants need? Some plants grow tall toward the sky, while others spread out flat on the ground. Some have colorful flowers, or delicious fruits, or traps that snap shut. But no matter what they look like, all plants need the same things to survive. First, all plants need light. Normally, plants get the light they need from the sun. Their leaves soak up the sunlight. Plants use this sunlight to make food. But some plants live in places that are very dark. In the rainforest, the tall, leafy trees block the sun. The rainforest floor doesn't get much light. But the plants on the floor have ways around this problem. Some rainforest plants climb to the sun. The liana vine climbs up tree trunks. It climbs all the way to the tops of the trees, where the sun is bright. Some liana vines can grow as long as 3,000 feet to reach the sunlight. Another thing all plants need is water. A plant will dry up and die without water. Most plants can suck up water from the soil through their roots. But some plants live in places where it's hard to get water. In the desert, it doesn't rain a lot. There's not a lot of water for plants to drink. But desert plants have ways around this problem. Many desert plants have long roots. The ground near the surface may be dry, but the soil farther down has water. The long roots suck up the water deep down in the ground. Other desert plants can store water for a long time. When it rains, Cactuses like this one swell up with water. When the ground remains dry for months, the cactus still has something to drink. One last thing all plants need is nutrients. Soil has nutrients that are good for plants. Plants suck up the nutrients through their roots. But some plants live in places where it's hard to get nutrients. In swamps, the soil doesn't have many nutrients. But swamp plants have a way around this problem. Some swamp plants get the nutrients they need by eating insects. When an insect lands on a Venus flytrap, the leaves snap shut and trap the insect. Then the plant turns the insect into a liquid and slurps it up. Yum! That fly makes one nutritious meal. Plants are pretty amazing. Even in a tough spot, they can get the light, water, and nutrients they need to be healthy and thrive. Okay, so that was a very informative video about what plants need to survive. So what are the things that plants need to survive? Right, they need sun. They need nutrients from the soil, right? They need water. Is there anything else that plants need? You think. All right, let's read the issue called Growing Carrots. So let's make it big. Open it up, it's called Let's Find Out My Weekly Reader, Growing Carrots. In the story, The Carrot Seed, by Ruth Krauss, a little boy grows a giant carrot. 
That book is fiction, and fiction means false. So you can always remember fiction, false. Let's find out how real carrots grow. All right, so let's turn the page. All right, so let's read aloud today. From seed to carrot. It takes about two and a half months for a carrot to grow. One, seed. A carrot plant starts as a seed. It needs water and warm sunshine to grow. Two, sprout. The seed sprouts. A root grows down. A stem and leaves grow up. Three, baby carrot. The tap root starts to grow. That is the orange part. Four, big carrot. The tap root gets bigger. It is almost time to pick it. Five, time to pick. The orange top pops out of the soil. It is time to pick the carrot. All right. It takes about two and a half months for a carrot to grow, boys and girls. Isn't that interesting? So it starts out as a seed, a little tiny carrot seed, and then it grows and it grows leaves and a root, which is, this is called the sprout, and then it starts to grow a tap root. This part here is the tap root, and the tap root gets bigger and bigger and it becomes a carrot that you would pick. You'd pull this right out of the ground and that's your carrots that you get at the grocery store. All right, and on the back it says label and color the carrot. So it says orange isn't the only color that carrots come in. Use the word bank to label this carrot, then color your carrot. So let's look at the first one. This is, are they leaves, taproot, stem, or little roots? I think they are the leaves. All right, and we can actually color this carrot. Look at that. Isn't that neat? So if you go on, boys and girls, you can do this as well. So you can color the carrot. All right, now the next word, hmm, I think that's the stem. What do you think? The stem of the plant? And this is, we know this was the taproot. The, or, the orange carrot part is called the taproot. And then what are these little down here? Oh, they are little roots. Good work. So look, these carrots are purple and red and orange and yellow. So that's why they have different colors down here. So you can color the carrots different colors. Look at that. How cool is that? Did you ever eat a purple carrot? I know we had purple carrots and and yellow carrots and orange carrots by the food trust. Remember when the food trust came and brought us those different color carrots? They tasted the same, didn't they? All right, boys and girls, you have fun playing with your issue of Scholastic Let's Find Out.